guys welcome back to Harrison family farm I am Tyrone it is now Friday um, for those of you that have been following along this week uh, the end of the week hey we made it but yeah I just want to give you guys an update on the foundation uh, here you are so it is poured uh, if you guys remember yesterday when I gave you an update the forms were here but it wasn't poured so as you can see they've got it poured and these metal tabs you see here these are straps and that's what will secure the home to the foundation and so uh yeah super super excited super cool you've got it all poured all all the way around um just letting you guys kind of see and they did this relatively quickly. I mean, they were out of here probably by noon. Uh-oh. But yeah. You can see, it's poured all the way around. Now mind you, they still have the interior slab to pour, as well as the slab for, it's gonna be a slab here too, because this will be like the rear sliding door, backyard access, and then a slab in the garage that's right and then also a slab in front of the garage we'll have like an apron um is what it's called but it's all said and done but yeah this here is the garage this is the home see it's all the way poured this cement that you see on top naturally and then this this opening i don't know if it comes through clear there's no cement right there I suspect that that's a door, a rear door, if I'm not mistaken. So there'll be a sliding door there and then just a walkout door here, um, part of the garage. And then we'll come around the last little corner. Really cool stuff, at least it was cool to me. I don't know. Uh, and then also you see right here, there's no cement in between these uh c clamps and those are the garage doors <clears throat> and there's just no cement there currently um there will be cement there eventually once they get done backfilling and everything like that they'll pour the the apron which should be in this general area here leading up to the driveway i mean excuse me leading up to the garage doors and yeah i'm sure that i'll probably get poured at the same time but the main part, the foundation, is done. And so as I mentioned to you guys before, it still has to cure for about 28 days uh, to reach its appropriate hardness for the house to be set upon it. And so now it's just a waiting game. I mean, there's still other things that need to be done, <clears throat> but yeah, this was a major, major hurdle to get past. And we're definitely excited to now be beyond it um, so yeah and then like this is the front door little porch right here and like I kind of mentioned this is this over here is still part of the house and this is the front porch entry right here but yeah I think I showed you guys all the way around and you can see they have some two by fours in there supporting holding the wood up, I mean holding the walls up the form walls just because yeah that much concrete vertically is extremely heavy and has a a force that's pushing against those walls to uh come out of there and so yeah these walls are all tied together held in a place and then they put these different stakes and anchors out to keep it from bowing out or from blowing out really So yeah, guys, I just wanted to share that update with you. Exciting times are upon us. Um, but yeah, not too much else going on. I've already did the other shores, fed the goats, fed the cows. Um, also, just a little update on the goat area. You see how clean that is now? Oh my goodness, for those of you that saw when I first put them in here. I'll turn around to the good camera. Hey, baby. But... Yeah, you could just see how much lower it is, how much more clear it's in. It is in there. You can see the ground now. 
Um, yeah. So, yeah, tomorrow, it's about time to move them. You can see they're still eating. Like I said, I fed them not long ago. And I just moved Sophie. I don't know if you guys remember, <clears throat> she had a bunch, of, a bunch of poo right here. So I just moved uh, moved her over, give her some fresh space. She's enjoying the grass. Um, yeah, not a whole lot going on today. Just the usual. So one thing I did do today was test the tractor tire in my makeshift repair seemingly has worked it at least holds air um not under pressure though but i just use roofing tar in the in caulk form in a caulk gun and just smushed it in there and let it cure for a few days and so far <clears throat> it's held air minus um the stem i need to replace the the stem valve and so i'll probably do that either today or tomorrow. I might pick one up today. Yeah, I might pick one up today and then probably uh, install it tomorrow. But so super happy that I'm at least be able to patch and pedal that along a little bit longer. Um, if any of you are familiar with buying tractor tires, I could replace the inner tube, no doubt. That probably wouldn't be that expensive, probably under 200 bucks, maybe even less than that. But if I'm being honest with myself, I need to replace the tire and the inner tube, really. That tire's about hmm, 400 and change. So put the inner tube in there, you're looking at five and a half, maybe $600. And yeah, as you see, we're getting the house built right now. It's not in the budget. So yeah. But that also means now that the tire's fixed, I don't have any more excuses uh, to start on this fence. So I will. Hopefully this weekend, if not, definitely next week, be putting that tire back on the tractor, getting it aired up and in proper shape, and then starting um, installing posts, as you can see, show you. Um, I had some posts at another property. I brought these over here today. And so I got actually probably a good 10 or so more of these. Um, and I'm gonna bring them over here to use as part of my fence as well so yeah i'm running out of excuses i'm putting myself in the corner where i have nothing left to do but to do what i said i was gonna do so that's good right <laughs> good and bad i have to keep it honest i'll keep myself honest rather but yeah guys thanks for stopping by thanks for checking in just wanted to share the house update with you be sure that you catch us on instagram as well as tiktok same name, Harrison Family Farm. We look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Peace.